Praise God. How are you guys doing? Um, so good to be back to fellowship together. Even though we're still doing it online, but trust me, the word of God is never quarantined, is never caged. Um, it's interesting to learn that most of the things we read today as New Testament was written when Paul was in prison. And the word is still affecting us thousands of years after. So hey, um, the word of God is never you know, limited in its impact. And um, if there's any time we need to be hooked onto the word, it is at a time like this. So we continue the series, The Savior. We started this series this month of April, looking at the fact that uh, Jesus is the savior of the world. Jesus is the savior of the world. We read so many scriptures along these lines um, two weeks ago. Jesus is the savior of the world. That was why um, you know, he came. He came here to save the world. He said, for this purpose was the Son of God manifested, all right, that he would deliver us from the works of the devil. So basically, Jesus is the savior of the world. So the question now is, what does he want to save us from? Or what is he saving us from? What is he saving us from? If he's called the savior, they said that's what his name will be, he'll be called the savior. If he's called the savior, what is he saving us from? The answer is simple. He's saving us from everything that we need saving from. <laughs> from everything we need saving from. If there's anything you need to be saved from, Jesus is ready to save you from it. Let's read the scripture to pin this picture for you. Um, Hebrews chapter 7, I'm going to read verse 25 and 26. Hebrews chapter 7, verse 25 and 26. It says here, let me turn up. It says, wherefore, he is able also to save them to the uttermost that come unto God by him. I need to catch that. It says, wherefore, he is able also to save them to the uttermost that come unto God by him, seeing that seeing he ever liveth to make intercession for them. Verse 26, for such an high priest became us, who is holy, he said, blameless, harmless, undefiled, separate from sinners, and made higher than the heavens. He says, this high priest is able to save to the uttermost. What do they mean? They mean he can save Totally, that's what they're saying. He, he's, he's not just saving us from sin. They say he can save totally. Whatever he needs to save you from. To the uttermost. I want to read um, the Amplified Version of, of, of that same scripture. It says, therefore, he is able to save forever, completely, perfectly, for eternity, those who come to God through him. It said, since he always lives to intercede, look at this, and intervene on their behalf with God. Hallelujah. So God, Jesus Christ is interceding and intervening on our behalf all the time before God. See verse 26. It was fitting for us to have such a high priest perfectly adapted to our needs. See that? Perfectly adapted to your needs. He said, holy, blameless, unstained by sin and separated from sinners and exalted higher than the heavens. They are just trying to tell, look, that Jesus doesn't just save from um, going to hell. He does that, but that's not where he stops. He saves to the uttermost. He saves completely. Anything you need saving from, Jesus can save you. I see there's no other time that we need to have this anchor. There's no other time that we need to have this kind of faith, this kind of belief, this kind of mindset than in a time like this. Um, they've announced an extra 14 days uh, you know, lockdown. This, is, this will probably take us to most likely the end of April. But you see, don't let that get to you. you need, at times like this, you need to focus on the word. That is what helps people survive. That is how people like Paul and Silas and all those that were in prison, you know, that, that's kind of some lockdown, that's quarantine. The Bible said they kept praising God. They kept praising God. They kept giving thanks. They kept, an, an, a, a, they kept a winning attitude, and they eventually won. So that's the secret. That's the secret. Don't let the extra lockdown affect you. Don't let the news going on affect you. In fact, as they announced the extra 14 days lockdown, some people swung into negative attitudes, negative beliefs, negative mindset. Listen to me. You, you, at a time like this, you need to stay positive. You don't see life the way it is. You see life the way you are. Okay, 
You don't see life the way life is. You see life the way you are. So the question is, how are you? Which kind of person are you? I, I, I put up a post some days ago, and I, I said, what if they empty everybody's accounts? And we all start afresh. You know, many people like to say, yeah, that would be great. Let's start again. The truth is that before long, things will get almost the same way it is now. You know why? Because some people will continue in their negative mindset, will continue in their misplaced priorities, will continue in their lack of discipline. So it's not about the world changing. It's about how are you changing? See, whatever is going on in the world today is not new. It's not new. People have seen worse things. This is not the first time we're having a pandemic. This is not the first time there has been global crisis. I mean, some people have been living in a war situation. Some people have been living in horrible situations even for now. Some will continue to live in those kind of situations after now. The point is this. The point is this. How are you going to react? That is what makes you stay afloat. How are you going to react to the news, to what is going on, to what is happening? How are you going to react? Um, um, you see, you need to be positive. You need to, and when I'm talking about being positive, I'm not just talking about having a positive mindset. For us as Christians, our, our, our positivity is based on scripture. Our attitude and mindset is based on the fact that we have a savior and we have a tangible and living relationship with him. He said he's able to save to the uttermost. On that, that amplifier, he said he's able to save completely. Glory to God. He can save completely. That means he will save you from sin, but he will save you from anything you are going through again. If you are going through emotional situations, he can save you from it. If you are going through financial situations, he can save you from it. The point is that instead of swinging into a negative attitude, swing into the positive attitude. All right? Let me tell you how this works. And you must be sensitive at this time, uh, you know, with what I'm telling you. You must be sensitive at this time. Uh, because of how the changes are going on, nobody seems to know what is going on. And because of that, a lot of people are out there on the, on the TV, on the media, just saying anything they like. Listen, listen, nobody knows exactly what is going on and how it's going to play out. Nobody knows, but we know God. That is all that matters for me. So I'm not moved by anything they're talking about. I've heard all kinds of things, 5G or no 5G. I've heard, um, you know, Antichrist. I've heard end of the world. I've heard God is punished. All kinds of things. Stay on the word of God. This is not a time for you to just open your ears to anything. The Bible says take heed what you hear. Because, you, you see, what you hear will affect your thoughts. What you think will affect how you feel. How you feel will affect the actions you will take. So, censor what you are hearing. You know what? Like I said before, CNN and um, all the news channels used to be one of my major channels. But right now, I've not listened to them in weeks. I've not paid attention to them. You know why? Because they have no hope to give me. They have no, no, no faith. My faith can't be inspired by watching that. So I keep looking at the word. You know, it, it reminds me of what Elijah did. When Elijah was praying for rain, he told that guy, go and check. The guy said, there's no, there's no rain. He knelt down and prayed again. He said, go and check. He said, there's no rain. He knelt down and prayed. He kept doing that till he got a positive signal. He didn't focus on looking at the weather and say, no, it's not coming. No, no. He said, check, it's not a, okay, leave it. He'll bend his head down. Do you understand? What that meant was that he refused to look around him. Instead, he focused on the one that is able to save to the uttermost. Hallelujah. He focused on the person that can save. Look, for, for many of you watching, you know, maybe there are some people that are pretty comfortable. To be honest with you, there's some people that are even making money at this time. Trust me, there's some people that are even making, a, 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 making massive money, massive breakthrough. So those are a different set of people. But I'm talking to you, maybe you are here and this is a very tough time for you. This is a very serious time for you. Listen, you have a savior that is able to intervene and, and you know, intercede on your behalf. He's able to save completely. His name is Jesus Christ, he's the savior. He doesn't just save from sin. He said he can save from whatever you're going through now. He said we have a high priest which is touched by the feelings of our infirmity. That means we have a high priest that feels what we feel. They say he fits perfectly into our needs. That was verse 26 says. Listen, guys, it's a time to stay on the word. I'm not listening to anybody. I don't know. The person talking doesn't know what he's talking about. He's not in the future. He's not God. I don't know what, 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 why he's saying what he's saying, but I'm going to stay with what cannot break. The word of God, it cannot be broken. It is fully tested. It is tried and true. It cannot be broken. It is yea and amen. Stay on the word. Stay on the word. If the world is going to even end, if you're a child of God, how is that a problem for you? How is that a problem for you? You know, the, the, stay on the word. Stay on the word. Now, I, I, I don't think the world is going to end, but to be honest with you, I don't care. If it ends now or it ends in 20 years' time, it's the same thing to me. 
The only issue that if it ends now is probably that we've not probably preached to enough people. That's the only issue. Apart from that, hey, if it ends now, it's great. If it ends 10 years now, it's great. And look, no matter what happens to the economy after, I know the Savior. I know the person that can save. He saves from a boat that is drowning. He saves from a person in the, I mean, the boat that is in the storm. He saves from the person that is Peter that is drowning. He saves from somebody that needs to pay tax. He saves somebody that, 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 that has an emotional problem and is married to five husbands. He saves the woman with the issue of blood. He is the savior of the world. It doesn't matter what you are going through. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Listen, you, maybe, maybe you, you are in a position where you don't even know how you are going to eat in the remaining weeks. He's the savior. He's the savior. I might not know what you're going through. What you're going through might not be what I'm going through. I might not have the creativity or idea or wisdom for how you should get out of what you're going through. But you have a savior. It's time to look up to him. You see, when you maintain that faith in him, he's able to save you to the uttermost. He's able to save you completely. He can save you. I might not be able to save you. He can save you if you trust him. And that's the beauty of a relationship with God. He said, those that know their God, they will be strong and they will do exploits. Look at those two things. He said, they will be strong in a time of crisis and they will do exploits. What is exploits? They will get unusual results. They will thrive at unusual times. This is the time to hook on to your God. This is the time to look up to God. He's a savior and he can save you completely. So what is it you are going through? At this time, what, what, what is it you are facing? Are you, are, you, are you one of people that maybe you don't have what to eat? Uh, maybe you don't know how you, the money you have has run dry. Maybe you've lost a lot of money this period where there's no work. I mean, I, I can imagine a lot of people that had contracts, that had businesses, that had shows, that had things that have, that have had to, you know. Look, don't focus on the negative. Those things have been affected. Yes, what you should be saying and thinking now is that he can save completely. That means he's going to still bring other opportunities. He's going to open other doors. He's going to make things happen. That's what, that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. You see, don't, focusing on regret makes you more powerless. But focusing on faith makes you more powerful. I want you to get that. Focusing on the regrets makes you powerless. The more you focus on the negative, you feel helpless. You feel powerless. You say we are going to die. But the more you focus... On the positive, you see creativity to come. The reason why many, many people um, are, are, are not in faith, they are saying, when I know how I will survive, then I will be in faith. No, it's the other way around. When I'm in faith, then I will get the ideas on how to survive. That's how it works. If you can get this, it will help you. Meaning, you are in a tough situation right now. Uh, you don't know how you're going to come out of it. If you keep thinking, I don't know how I'm going to come out of it, then you will never know how to come out of it. You will drown. But if you keep thinking, hey, I have God that saves to the uttermost, then your attitude will be up. Then the wisdom and the creativity that you need, because it's not universal, it's your wisdom. Because you are in a peculiar situation, wherever you are, whatever you're facing is peculiar to you. So God needs to give you customized wisdom for you. And that's all I'm asking you to do today. You have a savior that can save completely. He saves to the uttermost. He leaves no one behind. He said he's able to save completely. He intercedes and intervenes. Glory to God. He intercedes and intervenes. You know what that means? I mean, he's standing right now before God and saying, hey, this, this guy called Kingsley, this, this, this woman called Mildred, you can put your name there, hallelujah. You know, this guy called Pascal, this guy called Jerry, this, this, this girl called Chisholm, uh, you know, uh, uh, this, this lady called Jennifer, this, 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 this guy called John. Put your name there. So they said Jesus is standing before the Father, interceding on your behalf and saying, hey, I want to save this guy. I want to intercede and intervene in what this person is going through. And listen, I'm prophesying to you today by faith that God is going to see you through. I don't know what you are facing. I know a lot of people are in tough spots right now. No income, no food, whatever. Listen! He's able to save completely. He's able to save. You need to switch from the negative to the positive. Stop, stop saying, oh, nobody's taking care of you. Stop saying everybody's like, mm, don't think like that. You have the Savior. He said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Do you understand what that means? He said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. And he said, because the guy focused on that, he said, I can boldly say, the Lord is my helper. Glory to God. So what are you facing? Is it, is it emotional? Is it, is it uh, physical? 
you know, is it emotional? You are, you, are, you are going through a tough time, maybe marriage, maybe relationship, you know, or is it, is it mental? This whole period, a lot of people are having mental breakdowns. A lot of people are, are frustrated and fearful. You know, is it, is, it, is it physical? Maybe you are even sick in your body. Maybe you've even, you are even infected or, or something like that. Is it physical? Is it, is it financial? You, 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 a lot of deals have gone bad. You don't even know how you're going to survive when this is over. A lot of debts, a lot of uh, bad deals. You know, is it material? Is it, is it from food? Whatever it is, our God is able to save completely. And that is all I'm here to tell you today. Hallelujah. So be positive. Start receiving wisdom for how to navigate. So the, the, the wisdom you need are two things. How to survive this period and how to even thrive after this lockdown. How to thrive after this whole COVID-19 drama. That's all I'm thinking. I'm thinking, Lord, what do I need to be doing now? Then what, what will I need to do when this is over? I'm not focused on what anybody's saying. It doesn't matter what anybody's saying. You know, people have all kinds of uh, <laughs> uh, beliefs that the whole world is going to be over, that um, the world will never be the same. I don't know. Whatever comes, hmm? whatever it is that comes, we have what it takes to win. Our job is not to be checking on what is coming. Our job is to know the one that we have on our side. That's what that matters. Those that, are, those that know their God, they will be strong and they will do exploits. All through the Bible, people faced hard times. All through the Bible. But guess what? They all had the victory. You see that in Hebrews 11. They said their stories there. And they said it was their faith. It was their faith that made them win. Hallelujah. Praise God. Can I pray with you? Can I pray with you this morning? Can I pray with you this morning? Father, I lift up all my viewers today, whatever they're watching from all over the world. Lord, the world seems to be in so much darkness, but we know that you are never threatened. You are never frightened. You are never stranded. Father, we ask, oh God, that as Jesus intercedes and intervenes, let there be a turnaround in people's situations in the name of Jesus. Come through, comfort those that are fearful. You know, strengthen those that are panicking at this time. Let their hearts be strengthened. Let faith rise up again in us. Father, I pray for wisdom for everyone to survive this period and to also thrive after now. We will take advantage of the opportunities that this will bring for us in the mighty name of Jesus. You will save completely. You will save us to the uttermost from mental issues, emotional issues, financial issues in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Our faith is in you and we trust you completely in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. God bless you. Look forward to seeing you next Sunday. Trust me, this whole issue won't pass this month. It's going to end this month in the name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you and keep your family. Stay safe out there. It is well with you. <laughs>